Aren't they adorable? <laughs> no! Hey everyone, ahoy lady! Uh, today is day three of my trip to Czech and I am still in Prague. I'm going to go to the Prague castle today. I will try and document me finding my way up there. I am going to be traveling alone today and navigating my way through Prague by memory. Yeah, I don't know what to say. This trip has been so great, a little bit overwhelming because it's so much to see. I feel like I can't see all of the Czech Republic even close in a week. I feel like I'm learning a lot more Czech because my family is speaking only Czech to me. And whenever I respond in English, they go, yeah. <laughs> It's a really, really beautiful country, beautiful city, and I guess let's go and keep exploring. Woo! A woman just passed me and said it sounds like I'm from Los Angeles. <laughs> I don't know where I am right now, but I'm on my way trying to find the um, Prague Castle, so I'm just following all the signs that have a photo of the castle, so hopefully this is leading me in the right direction. So I just had lunch at a little cafe that's right by the castle, and then I had to go through security um, somewhere over there, long line. And now I'm just gonna try and trek up to the castle. It was super cute. I was at the cafe, and the woman there, I was trying to ask her how you say where in Czech, because I get gdy and gde mix up, mixed up. Uh, so I was asking her, is gdy where and she didn't understand so I was just like Uchitsa Chesky and then she was like ah oh, bumba bumba this is insane wow that's amazing even back in the day they served coca-cola in the clock tower <laughs> When I left the castle, I was just waiting for my family members to meet me for dinner. And while I was waiting in front of, it was in from art school, there's like a building across from it that I'm not sure what it's called. But I saw this bunny like posed on a surfboard, just like, hey. So I walk over and there's this Russian guy who trains bunnies. And it was the coolest thing. She was born in Prague. Yeah? Yeah. She likes to drink oh, beer and wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with uh, Toffee and Douglas and my new friend. Hi. Hi. Alexei. Uh, he has a Instagram with his bunnies who travel the world. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna kill the rabbit. <laughs> She's gonna say hi. Douglas, say hi. Hi. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. <laughs> The next day, my friend is studying at a university in Brno, and she offered to drive me with her to Brno so that I could explore. And I had the idea that some people kind of wanted to meet me in Brno, so why not have a meetup? So I spontaneously, the night before, said, I'm gonna have a meetup in Brno, meet me at this location, and we did it. here in the Starbucks right now, um, but I'm getting a lot of looks on the street. Brno is a lot smaller than Prague and I think I really stand out as an American. I'm wearing jeans right now and a white t-shirt, so that's pretty much the American uniform, so I know I stand out a lot right now. Um, so hopefully this isn't too much of an awkward day filming like this, but I'm super excited to explore the city. It's a lot smaller. It's like a lot more of a village, I feel, than Prague. and. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here and meet you guys in a few hours, so let's see how it goes. When we got to Brno, I had a little bit of time to kill before I went to the meetup, so I just kind of explored by myself for about three hours or so. I went to Spielberg Castle. I figured if you're going to a castle, you should enter through the main doors. So I literally entered in through the main doors like, I'm here, and security came after me, <laughs> which would happen when I'm in check. I just said, Sam Marichanka, and they were like, okay, you're stupid, it's 
fine. I'm in Brno right now and I'm doing a meetup with some awesome people who watch my videos. So say hi everybody. Hi. <laughs> And now we're going to the horse statue, which he's showing me. So I guess we'll see how that goes. They all decided to take me on a little tour of Brno since I was so confused and clueless about the city. And we saw the horse statue from underneath. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. <laughs> Chuck humor is hilarious. Thank you guys, everybody who came to the Brno meetup. You guys are awesome. Bye. Bye. I just got back to Prague from the meetup in Brno and first of all I just want to thank all of the people that went to the meetup. Um, it's just really incredible and mind-blowing to me that people will take time out of their day to meet me and one of the guys there he gave me a chocolate bar which is really really awesome. So thank you to the people who were all speaking English to me to accommodate me to your country. Czech is beautiful, Brno is beautiful, and I'm excited to the next meetup that's going to be on Saturday on Sobora. So, Tejinsa. By the time I got home, I was just so tired, I ended up passing out. I spent a couple days going to Germany and I visited some family members who were married in, um, who happened to live in Germany, and that was much more personal to me, so I have none of that on film, but it was a really good experience. And when I came back on Saturday from Germany, I had my Prague meetup to kind of just finish out the week. Dekui <laughs> Mots! So, this trip honestly was life changing. When people here are asking me how it was, that's the only word I can use to describe it because I just gained so much from going to Czech. And you guys can see probably I was crying at Kampa. I cried a lot, actually, a lot more than I thought I would because I just felt so connected to Czech. I really want to thank everybody who came to the meetups in Brno and Prague. It was so cool to meet you guys in person and to just see the reality of how YouTube just connects people like this. It was really magical and thank you so much for the gifts that people gave me. Someone got a Kurtek. You know who it is. I'm just really excited about Kurtek. I grew up with a Kurtek, that's why. Upon meeting with my family, I guess I didn't realize that my branch of the family is the only one in America and it was just so crazy to see that I'm speaking English to an entire group of people who are related to me that know another language and it was just crazy. As the day started going on and on, my filming got less and less and less because the connections I was having with the real people in Czech, including mainly my family, was just becoming more and more and more important to me and I realized that the significance of where I came from is ultimately the most important part of this trip and the part that I want to take with me in my heart more so than capture on camera. So with no offense to you guys, a lot of my trip is not filmed. Filming can only capture so much of life. There's, I think the most important parts aren't on camera and I think that's okay. The most important thing that I learned on this trip is to stay present. As cheesy as it sounds, I really realized that all of the moments that were the most important were the ones that were not captured on film. It was the times that I met you guys who watched the videos. It was the times that I connected with my family. It was the moments that I had with the people that mattered to me and the connections that I made with people. Some people reached out to me individually to meet me. Some came to my meetup and Every time that I would just get to talk to you face to face, that's what meant the most to me. Oh, I'm just so inspired to continue this YouTube channel and maybe to connect it more with my second home too, America, so we can find a way to join the two cultures together because both places are beautiful. They're totally different, but they're both beautiful. I'm definitely going to think about how I can do that more with the appreciation for everything that I've learned on this incredible trip. and. For those of you who think America is a thousand times better, what you have is pretty great. So thank you guys so much for watching, for coming to my meetups, for supporting me, and I'm so excited to continue making this amazing channel. So thank you so much.